Good evening, uh, moms and dads and um, family members, Bloberg community. So nice to meet with you again online. And um, I cannot believe that it's term four already. Um, so much has been jam-packed into term one, two, and three. And when I look at the calendar for term uh, four, it's going to be a super busy one. So I'm going to go through a couple of things uh, with you to just inform you, to keep you updated. And as always, you are more than welcome to contact me afterwards, send me an email, come for a cup of coffee. And um, yeah, I, we always do love chatting to, to parents and um, uh, continue to have people sharing um, their thoughts with me. And that's really great. So thank you for that. Um, we hope that Term 4 is going to be a good one for our students and for you as parents as well. Uh, thank you so much to, to our, our PTA who spoiled our teachers. Uh, we celebrated Teachers Day on the 5th of October, which was during the holidays. And um, at school we celebrated it on, on Wednesday yesterday. And um, we were really spoiled by, by the PTA, so thank you for that. Thank you for uh, taking the time to recognize the teachers. They do um, a magnificent job, um, sometimes a very ungrateful job. And, and often as teachers we get to hear all the negative and the bad things. Seldom do we get the positive things. So, Thank you to those parents who make an effort to, to recognize what our teachers do um, and to, to um, make the effort to communicate via email or WhatsApp or whatever the positive things that teachers do. So thank you for the spoilies yesterday. Um, the cupcake was magnificent. It went down well with tea yesterday as well as the other spoilie. So thank you to our PTA for that. Um, we. I need to just go through a couple of staffing issues. So first of all, we welcome Lysandra Scott. Uh, Lysandra is taking over the admissions and marketing role at the school. Um, as Aldrey Manches, they will be leaving us at the end of October. And so we welcome Lysandra onto our staff. She's already with us. And so she's walking hand in hand with Aldrey this term as we um, have a thorough handover in that process. Um, we also still have an, an administrative position in the front office. We are going through the process of interviewing at the moment, so um, that is still work in progress. This is really an additional post. It's a post that Miss um, Kamara Trin uh, vacated 18 months ago when we moved her to the library. So we still haven't filled that position, so we will try and fill that position in the next while. Um, we also welcome one of our parents, Claire Hraylem, onto our staff. And um, maybe I can, uh, I can just share with you that, um, as we've said, the uniform um, issue has been raised when I started at Bloberg. And it really has been an unresolved issue. And it's not due to lack of trying. It's not due to lack of effort. It's been an ongoing process. Um, school uniforms is not a simple matter. So we've employed Claire <coughs> at Bloberg. We are moving into our new building, all the uniform from Hattrick. So we will have our own uniform shop over here that will service Bloberg, Halderberg and Hout Bay. And Claire is going to manage that on a part-time basis every day for a number of hours. We will circulate those hours so you will be able to order online as well as come into the shop and come and purchase what is required. The um, suppliers of the uniform, we are staying with Hattrick for now, and we've already done a lot of homework in, in sourcing different suppliers. So as we settle down with the uniform shop, um, Claire will initiate um, certain products going to certain suppliers, and so that we can offer you as parents the best possible option. So we're looking forward to, to this progression and um, for you being able to um, have a better service with regards to the uniform. So thank you Claire and we look forward to how you're going to manage that uniform shop. Um, that uniform shop will give you details. We are hoping to bring over the uniform um, towards the end of November from Hattrick to, to our school and um, we will inform you of the hours and the details around that. So. We look forward to ticking that one off the box after a, a long period and making sure that we offer you the best possible service. As I said, we say goodbye to Aldri at the end of, um, of October. 
Aldrey goes um, to another job in the area. Unfortunately, we know that Aldrey has made a huge difference at our school and uh, we will certainly miss her, but we look forward to what Cassandra offers and how she can grow um, the role. And um, we always say, we need to leave a legacy where we go, but a new person needs to come in and that creates an opportunity and we need to go from good to great. So there's a nice challenge for Cassandra as well. Um, at the end of the term, we also say goodbye to Candice, Candice van der Feyfer, who is down with our little ones. Uh, Candice handed her resignation in early in the second term already, um, as they are immigrating to New Zealand. So we wish Candice um, all the best with her family. And for us as school, Candice is a huge loss because she has made a magnificent difference to the school. We also say goodbye to Mrs. Kutso, who retires um, at the end of the year. Uh, she's been with us for a number of years, and we know that she has added great value to our school. But we wish her all the best at the end of the year in her new ventures. And um, I know she's got a couple of things up her sleeve, because she's far from sitting down and doing nothing. Uh, also, Miss um, Drury, on the last day of last term, she informed me that her husband has taken up an opportunity in the Netherlands. So Cindy, unfortunately, after being with us for only this year, uh, she was originally in a maternity position with um, Mrs. Duplessis' position, but she's been with us full time this year and um, she's really been an awesome teacher and, and made, a, made a great difference in terms of teaching and learning in the, in the classroom. So we're going to miss her, but we know that going to the Netherlands offers wonderful opportunities for her, so we wish her well. Um, Mrs. Gornell at the high school um, will also leave us and we are going to um, restructure a little bit at the high school. So we are going to bring in um, um, an English teacher because we have a need for English and math so we're looking for that kind of combination. We have advertised that position and we are busy going through CVs and looking at that appointment at the moment. And then last we also say goodbye to Ms. Cullingworth. Um, our high school German teacher and we've already made that appointment um, a very experienced teacher from the German school and we look forward to Silke joining us um, at the end of at the beginning of next year she will join us during the course of this term already to come and slot in and make sure there's a great handover so um, yeah I really do look forward to the experience that um, that Silke brings in the German position. She has also held a managerial position at the, at the German school. So we, we're excited to, to see what she has um, to bring to us at the high school. Um, Saturday, Sunday is the Sunlum Cape Town Marathon and we wish um, Mrs. Duplessis uh, running um, the marathon all the best. And then Miss Marie who runs her first marathon. So we know that that will go well and we look forward to seeing those results as well. Um, I'm sure by now you've all heard of um, the, the unfortunate incident where, where one of our parents um, was shot in, um, in the area. Um, you probably read that in the newspaper and if you haven't linked the dots yet then um, you would, may not have heard that it is a dad of one of our, three of our children. Um, in year seven, year five, and year four, um, just so that you know, we have spoken to the to the children in the class because there there is obviously speculation, and we do need to create uh, awareness of of the situation. So um, just be aware that we have dealt with that in the class, and um, we are very sad to hear um, that news, and we continue supporting our families where possible. Uh, we all know about Cherise and Victoria. We've done um, a lot of awareness around um, the battle that Cherise and Victoria face. Um, we know about Cherise in Mrs. Kutz's class. Um, maybe not all of you know about Victoria. Victoria is in Mrs. Henry's class, also in year two. And so we've got two um, young cancer patients. Um, Victoria, we know that Cherise um, is well documented, um, the journey that she's walking at the moment with her family. And um, we are pleased that right now it's, it's, um, she is feeling a little bit better, but she is at home and um, the family are, are dealing with, um, with a serious crisis at the moment. So all our prayers are with Cherise and her family as well. 
Um, Victoria underwent surgery on, on Tuesday um, to her upper right leg and um, we will look forward to positive prognosis from, from that and an outcome to that. Um, Dad has been in constant touch with me. Um, he came to have a cup of coffee with me yesterday and um, they are extremely positive that it's going to um, be, a, be a good journey forward and we pray for that as well. Um, I'll be going to visit her in the Red Cross Hospital tomorrow and I must say I look forward to, to, to seeing her. Um, I have seen a couple of videos and um, we, we know that she's going to be great after this. Um, also one of our teachers, Mrs. De Villiers, also underwent surgery during the holidays and she'll be off school. Uh, she has also walked a journey over term two and three um, where she's also fighting her own battle and, and illness and um, she has under, undergone surgery as I said during the holidays and um, Carmen will be with us again on the 30th of October. So in this time we wish her only the very best and we miss her face at school and we look forward to having her back at school. Right, let's quickly go through the calendar a little bit. Um, just to highlight one or two little points. So um, what I've done is I've just for your information, I've kind of highlighted two parts to the term. And, and the first part stretches from now to the 4th of November. And that is because we have our um, company's heads conference at, in South Africa um, at the end of October, beginning of November. So a lot of our energy and time is focused on, on organizing that. So um, that's a period up to the 4th of November that we've got to get through. And um, so a lot of our focus is on that. Once we have um, done with conference, we then go over to the nitty gritty of school because then it's close to exam time and then there's no more playing games. Then it's down to exam and tests and reports and wrapping up the, the year as such. So um, it's kind of how I organize my life. I um, have to know how I'm going to eat the elephant. So um, maybe it'll help you as well to, to focus on, on the two areas up to, up to conference and then after conference. The calendar I will be circulating. I know Miss Nell has put all the dates together. So I'm not going to go through the specific calendar now. But the dates have been put together by Miss Nell and they will be circulated, I think, today or tomorrow. So you'll have the term dates um, to look at. Um, this week is Mental Health um, Week and, and Day and we're going to celebrate that on, on, on Friday, tomorrow, by wearing green. So, um, and we're going to do it twofold. It is Friday the 13th. What a day to do uh, Mental Health Day for those superstitious people. So we are going to do green tomorrow and we're going to link it to, of course, Buck Friday because on Sunday is when South Africa will beat France at 9 o'clock that evening. So we're going to celebrate Buck Friday. So let's wear green uh, tomorrow and let's remember two things. We obviously celebrate our, our, our box playing on, on Sunday, but more importantly, we remember Mental Health Day and I'm going to end, up, end off a little bit about um, that again. So I'll hold my thoughts for a little bit longer. On Friday, uh, tomorrow morning, our, um, our Intersect team leaves for Chile. So we'll see them off at the airport at um, half past five tomorrow morning. And they will come back to us on the 24th. So this year is a cultural Intersect. And um, next year will be a sporting Intersect. So those people who would like to send their children on these kind of outreaches, it's a great opportunity and so we wish Mrs. Berger and her group of children who fly out tomorrow all the best. Have lots of fun and remember you're representing our school so um, keep the Bloberg flag flying very high. Um, we wish them safe travels and a safe journey. This coming Saturday we also have our foundation stage um, sports day. I'm sure that letter has been circulated and we look forward to having our moms and dads and all our children running. Uh, don't forget moms and dads, those tackies, because we always end it off with um, moms and dads races. So make sure you are well kitted out. No excuses and we look forward to that. I think that program runs from 8 to 10, so it's nice and, nice and short. 
um, then we can all go out and go and have a nice brunch somewhere, a milkshake somewhere and spoil our kids and spend some time with our, with our families. So that's this coming Saturday. Um, next week our year nines go on, on camp. I think that's our last camp for the year, then everyone has been on, on their camp. Um, our choir goes to Stellenbosch, to Stellenbosch um, next weekend. Um, it's a great festival for them and an opportunity to showcase our talent as well. Um, and then I'm going to move into, into um, the end of October. And, and this is where, where maybe I just need to create clear awareness of what happens. Um, so on the 28th of October, it's a Saturday, um, that's in two weeks time, we have our IES academic director out. He's going to come and join us and get, get our hands dirty. And so the staff will be in the hall down the 28th and doing um, a major cleanup in preparation for our conference the following week. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be an, an interesting day and we're going to prepare for, for what waits the next week. So that's Saturday the 28th. Um, I will still be calling on some, some parents who, who want to help. Um, so if you do want to help and get involved and, and maybe you see an area that you think needs attention, maybe you've got green fingers and you think there's an area of the garden that you can, that you can help in, maybe you want to help in any other way, let me know and join our work party on the 28th and we're going to, we're going to clean the school. That afternoon is also the Rugby World Cup final that evening, so we'll try and finish up early so we can go and watch South Africa beat Ireland in the World Rugby World Cup final. Um, that's my prediction. So we look forward to a nice working day on the 28th. And then on Monday the 30th, um, Daryl will be back at school and Daryl will then do a full inspection of the school uh, with everything that is waiting for conference and he'll make 100% sure that, that everything is in place and that we have um, dotted the I's and, and crossed the T's. Then on Tuesday the, the 31st, this is a really important day for us because on Tuesday we have Daryl here, we have Monica, um, our Vice President, we have our Financial Director um, of the company, yes, Cindy, and we potentially have Dr. Segovia, our President, as well. He flies in that morning and I'm sure he'll join us later during the day. So we, we have a full inspection on um, Tuesday the 31st. I'll touch a little bit on that a little bit later, but just be aware of what happens on the 28th, the 30th, the 31st, and then leading into that weekend. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the details of what happens on the 31st, but as I said, there's a number of meetings happening. And then on the 4th of November, uh, Saturday the 4th of November, is the official visit to Bloberg International School by all our delegates. So we have 50 heads from heads and directors from different portfolios within our company. Um, they will all be here um, for that whole week, from the 31st to the 6th of November. But on the 4th of November, they will visit Bloberg. And the visit will happen through a tour of the school. Um, there will be a presentation um, by all three schools, all three South African schools. So we have each got a slot, we've got a program, and so there will be a whole event. This event is only open to the delegates, to the parents of the children performing of the three schools and to the staff of the three schools. So this is not open to all our parents at, for this day, um, just so they are aware. Um, this is only open to those people involved. Um, we will showcase our school on that day to our delegates from all over the world. Uh, we are going to showcase Hartbay on the Friday and we are showcasing Halderberg on the Thursday. So we've got a visit to all three schools during the conference. Um, I'll be in conference that whole week um, from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Um, so I will be leaving my, my crew over here to, to um, make sure that we are ready for Saturday. But of course there's been a lot of planning going into this for, for many months before. So I'm sure we'll be ready for a, for a great show on that Saturday the 4th. Sunday we shuttle all our guests back in the e afternoon and evening back to the airport. So we've got teachers shuttling backwards and forwards with the combis and trailers to get everyone back to the airport. And then the next week on the 8th we just left with our lawyer and our, apologies for the 
uh, spelling error. I still haven't corrected that. Um, so we have our aesthetics maintain and maintenance uh, director here as well, and our lawyer to go through all the documentation that we're supposed to have in place. That's on the 8th, and once they have gone, then that is the end of our conference, and then we can breathe a little bit, and um, we can get on with the nitty-gritty of why we're actually here, and that's um, teaching and learning. So um, bear with us as we, as we go through this process of the conference. Um, it is pressure. It is making sure everything is ready. And ultimately, we're going to benefit from it because there's been a lot of um, additions to the school in preparation for the conference that have been started in January already. And um, so our school has benefited from it. So, so that's really great. Then we go to our recognition ceremonies, our foundation stage on the 29th of, of November, as well as our junior primary, and the times will be circulated, so you'll be getting those. Um, and then on the, on the 5th of December will be our primary school recognition ceremony and our high school prize giving. Now, the exact times and the format of that will be circulated to you at a later time, a later stage. The reason why I haven't not doing that right now is because at this point in time it does not look like our hall will be ready for the conference event on the 4th of, um, of November and potentially also not ready for the um, prize giving. So we may still unfortunately have the prize givings in our foyer in the main building that we have had last year as well, like we had it last year. So we're waiting for that and um, unfortunately there have been delays to the building and there are delays coming from overseas. So, so in the end we've also got to have a health and safety certificate to make sure that we are compliant with everything that needs to be done before we can actually move into the building. So they, potentially we could still have our prize givings where they, where they were. In between the prize givings, if I go back one slide, um, on the 1st of December, and that's the day that you can earmark, because on the 1st of December we are going to have a bit of a, a celebration day. Um, that's going to be a bit of an open day mixed with opening of our new building for parents. Um, we're going to combine our music picnic concert that our children do, along with our staff concert that we always do. We're going to combine all that with our Moonlight Market, or I know the PTA maybe have a different idea this year, but we're going to combine all that into nice festi festivities on the 1st of December. So please diarize that. The details will, will come. We'd like to showcase our building and, and take you on tours through that building. And so that's why we've moved all that a little bit later. Um, that will mean all our exams are finished, all our tests are finished, conference is finished, and we can start just letting our hair down and getting ready for the holidays and have a nice celebration day. So please earmark that on your calendar so that we can really have a festive day and um, enjoy time together as we open our new building and look forward to what that's going to bring as well. And then, of course, school closes on the 6th of December. Um, so that's just around the corner. Uh, with regards to dress code, um, I want to just mention, um, I'm going to go forward just a little bit to that one. Um, let's start with school uniform. So at the moment, it's some days hot, some days cold. So we don't mind if children wear summer or winter uniform at, at this point in time. But we'd like that to get to the 27th of October and we'd like all summer uniform to be worn from the 1st of November. However, on the 30th and 31st of October, remember those are the days that Daryl and our bosses will all be here, our board will be here. So we'd like those two days, Monday and Tuesday, and we'll circulate this in a letter, um, but Monday and Tuesday, 30th and 31st, we'd like everyone to be in their formal school uniform. That means no PE clothes, that means either winter or summer, but formal. So that we're all looking very, very smart for that. Um, I've spoken about a hat trick, bear with us as we make that transition. But in January 2024, our uniform shop will be up and running and working. Um, back to the dress code slide. Um, I've got four dates there. As I've said, I'll circulate all these dates in a newsletter. Monday the 30th, Tuesday the 31st. 
all those children involved on Saturday the 4th and Wednesday the 8th when we have our other board members here, those are the four days that I would really like our children to wear the absolute formal, neatest uniform possible. Um, we, we certainly want to make sure that we showcase our school well and so I'm going to ask your cooperation that you assist us in this regard to make sure that our children are looking smart for those four days. Like I said, I will circulate that. Um, our school fee schedule has been sent out. Uh, this year we're asking you to send us a hard copy back, uh, initialed on the front page, signed on the back page. We'd like to do this because often we get parents who say, we did not know this. We did not know that this is the due date. We did not know that this is how the discount works. We did not know that we have to pay so much for a camp. We did not know X, Y, and Z. So all the details are there. Please sign that for us, and we'd like to return that return by the end of the week. So that's how we've communicated with our children, and that's what the, the tutor teachers and class teachers will and request from the children that that hard copy is sent back. If you don't can't print a hard copy at home because it has been emailed, let us know and your teacher will give your child a hard copy to, to, to sign. Please don't forget initial on the front page, sign on the back page, return to us. Right, and then just quickly, um, I've spoken briefly about the building update, but I'd like to share um, five or six photographs with you. So these were taken last week, so we, we are already a little a week ahead, um, and it does look a little bit different already. Um, that's the front of the hall, that's the stage in the middle, and then on the left of the stage will be our new uniform room, and on the right of the stage will be our sport storeroom, um, and both those rooms lead onto the stage, so they will also act as our wings when we have productions on the stage. Um, that's the seating against the back side wall, um, so we've got tiered seating up there so you can also sit upstairs. Um, that's looking from the front of the hall towards the back of the hall. That's the tier seating on the side, on the right hand side of the hall as you're facing the stage. That's from the sound room upstairs um, towards the stage, so it really is a very, very big hall that's going to be a, a great asset to the school and we're going to obviously it's going to have a blue floor and it's going to have markings for basketball and volleyball and netball so we can use it for multi-sport as well and that's the what is going to be the library and the coding and robotics room and that's from the top that's right on the top looking towards the current building and right at the top looking towards the um, hall. Those are the classrooms between the hall and the current building. Um, at the bottom, maths and maths and, and laboratories. And at the top, it's the IT lab, um, a business classroom and an art classroom. So we're really looking forward to moving into that. Um, a little bit more of that. Right, so if the hall is not ready for the 4th of November, we are going to go to plan B. Um, not quite like that, but there will be a, um, a marquee tent put on the, on the field, and we will then do the presentation. Um, so there's a 10-minute presentation from each school. There's a speech by the president, there's a welcome speech by some of the children, and there's a closing speech by um, the three principals of the school. Um, at the end, and then there's also the official opening of the non-finished building. So if it does not happen in the building, it will happen on a mark in a marquee tent outside um, my office over here on this side of the of the Astro, and we'll do the eats for the delegates in the foyer and the main foyer of the building. Right, and then um, in closing, I'd like to just say, you know, we've we've always got to use every opportunity we have. And um, we have a conference coming to, to, to our, um, our school. So we'd like to use the opportunity to teach our children certain things. And so let's create awareness. Let, let's, let's talk to our, our children about what's going to happen because there's going to be a lot of scurrying around. Let's explain to them what's happening. That we have got our distinguished guests from all over the world 
and that we are showcasing our school and that we are proud of our school. But in doing that, let's make sure our uniform is, is looking smart. So we as parents need to take responsibility for that as well. Let's talk to our children about how we greet people and how we greet adults. Um, what's the acceptable way? Let's teach them that when two adults are talking, they shouldn't walk or run in between the two adults. Let's use this as a teaching moment, an opportunity to, to teach them skills that they need in life. Let's teach them about good manners, please and thank you, and good morning, sir, and good afternoon, ma'am, and, and all that. Um, and let's teach them how we behave when we have guests at our school. You know, I always say that we need to teach people how to behave when we go, how do we behave when we go to McDonald's and we buy takeaways, as opposed to how do we behave if we go to a, a five-star hotel and we sit down at a table at a restaurant where other guests are sitting around us. We don't behave in the same manner. We need to teach our children that. So a great learning opportunity for, our, for us all to do that. So if you can assist me, I'll ask the staff to raise awareness with that. And if you can assist me at home as well, that again, we have the continuity from home and from school, and um, it's easier for them. Um, and then I've said to my staff, we, we are a dream team. We, we work exceptionally well together under pressure and everyone contributes, everyone comes to the party. And so I ask that you do um, the same, that you assist where you can, um, those moments at home to extend what we're doing at school as well, and vice versa, is really important. Right, and then in closing, um, there are just three thoughts that I would like to leave with you. The first one is um, with regards to parking, with regards to everything that happens around the school. We have certain rules that we, have, that we put in place. Um, you as an individual may not necessarily agree with that rule, but the rules are there for a reason, so that we can all have a safe environment and an environment where we can move easily. So I know that it's frustrating sometimes to wait in parking areas, but please do not leave your car unattended. Please park in a parking bay on the Umwood side that we've left open for you if you're going to get out of your car. Please don't park in the queue. It's hugely frustrating for other parents who are trying to pick up and go and get back to work. And so if we all consider it and we all follow the rules, it actually will be simple. Um, yes, we may have to wait five minutes extra, but that is at every single school. But the more we cooperate and work together, the easier it is for everyone. So again, I'd like to appeal that, that you work with us and not break the rules. Remember, our children don't always do what we tell them to do. But our children are very observant. And when they tell, see you breaking the rule, and tonight we tell them at home to follow a, a rule, we are not being fair because they model us and they watch us breaking rules and then we tell them to follow rules. So we need to be consistent and that, that brings me to my second point about being role models and, and about taking responsibility. I've said how many times that we take joint responsibility for our children, that's you the parent, us the school and the children themselves. But they model us, they follow what we do, they don't always do what we say. If they see we do certain things, they will do the same. We cannot tell them that they mustn't always be on their phones when we are always on our phones. And so please, let's let be mindful of being the right kind of role model that our children want. That's really important. And, and like I always say, we are educating our children and we could have our future president in our country, in our school today. And if that is the case, I want to make sure that that president is doing the right things so that that president can make the right decisions. So let's all work together on that. And then in closing, um, we, we often get, um, in today's society, we, we use the word bullying. Um, please be mindful of the fact that what bullying is, what kinds of bullying we get. So before you want to send me an email or put it out there that your child is being bullied, let's just make sure that it is bullying. Because that's going to be my investigation part. I have to find out, is this a continual thing? Is it happening all the time? Because if it is a once-off incident, it's not necessarily bullying. 
because children do funny things sometimes. And all our children do that. We can't say, my child never does that. That's the worst thing we can do because sometimes our child does that. And so let's be mindful of, of, of the word bullying and let's stand together when we have our next blue day that we do not tolerate bullying. But remember, our focus point is not the word bullying. Our focus point is let's be kind, caring and encouraging towards each other. And if we do that, we will not bully anyone. And again, let's be role models. So I need to be kind, caring and encouraging towards my staff, towards the children in my school, towards the parents in my school. If I don't do that, then I have no right to ask you to do that. You have no right to tell your children to be kind, caring and encouraging if you aren't kind, caring and encouraging. So let's all be that. And if we, if we do that, our community, our school, and the larger Cape Town, South Africa, we can make a difference, one person at a time. I hope you have a fantastic term. If you have any queries about anything I've mentioned, especially around conference, um, a, a newsletter will be going out on Monday with a summary of everything that I've spoken about and a bit more. Um, but if you have any queries or you feel I've left out something, please drop me an email. Uh, pop in with a coffee or come and, come and have a coffee with me. Um, I love socialising with coffee so, and I've got lots of time. I don't do too much around here. So please pop in and, and let's have a cup of coffee and chat. But, but drop me an email. There are exciting times ahead. Our building is, is nearly finished and I think there's a great future for, for Bloberg. And, and I'm really excited about the future for the school. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your support of the teachers. Thank you for, for making a difference. And if we're not making a difference yet, let's make a difference today and tomorrow. And if we are making a difference, let's make a bigger difference. Have a great term. Thank you for attending tonight and look forward to seeing you um, around the school. Have a great evening. Thank you.